Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tar reading for my Aquarius for the week starting May 16, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggv tarot at gmail.com you can also subscribe to my channel I would be very appreciative thank you for those who subscribed already and welcome to my new subscribers thank you for your likes your shares your comments your private messages it truly means a lot to me and I've also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well and now for my Aquarius, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have in the past position this week. We have the Eight of Rods. Oh, something happened. There's a lot of change. I mean, there's a big change coming unexpectedly your way. And this change could be related to different things, but... Right now, you have a lot, a lot of attention in your fourth house, the house of Taurus, okay? The sun is there, Mercury is there, and I think also Venus is in that house. Fourth house is a house of comfort, family, okay? The things that we value, how we feel good about ourselves. So there's some changes coming your way. Also, the eight of rods to me will always be the arrows of love, so maybe you'll be falling in love. And if you are falling in love, or if there's love in your corner, it could be from, um, I'm going to go the opposite, but it could be from someone that is different from you. It could be someone that, you know, I could say it could be from someone that you have known from the past in your house, because there's a lot of element in a four house. But I think for my Aquarius with this Mercury world in retrograde, it could be someone very different. Okay. And let's see what we have in the position of the near past for you. We have the two of cups. Yes, love is in the corner. I mean, if it's not love, then there's a business deal, business agreement. If it's not a business agreement, there's this new job that is there. It could be that you're working from home because, like I said, there's a lot of energy or you'll be, you know, you'll have the possibility of working from home. Or it could just be that you're, you know, because with Aquarius, I find that they're at work, their friends become their family. So maybe now at, at work, you're just now finding discomfort, you know, in this new position or uh, there's a new energy or a new boss where you connect, you click or new colleague that allows you to really have this fresh outlook, okay, in this, in those areas. And let's see what we have for you, my Aquarius, in the position of the future this week. The chariot. Wow. This is a major arcana. In the future position, this card is very important. Um, there will be a travel for you, my Aquarius, Aquariuses, or a relocation. But there's a physical movement. Okay, it could be that now you're going to have a new job. There's, even if you got just got a job, maybe there's another, another one coming in. Or maybe it's a second job. Okay, or maybe, like I said, the love that is coming in that is from someone different from you. Maybe that person lives in a different place, a different city, different country. And you may be planning a trip or maybe she, she or he will be coming to you. But there's a connection, a lot of connection here. And the chariot, the energy that I really enjoy about this card is when, because you're, it really is a victorious movement. And you could see there's a crown on his head, there's a black and white horse, and there's a chariot. Okay, very luxurious, luxurious chair. So he's going somewhere. And he's, you know, some people are waiting for him. So it could be that someone is waiting for you. Or maybe many people are waiting for you. But this is a great time because right after the fourth house, the sun will move in your fifth house, which is love, passion, romance. Also, it's the house of kids and speculative business. But the transition from this house to the fifth house will go really well. 
And for some of my Aquarius, this Mercury retrograde hasn't been bad. Actually, it's been kind of like refreshing. Maybe you have reconnected with some people of, of the past, some family members or, you know, old friends. Or people are finally able to see you the way you are and that makes you feel comfortable because it's the fourth house. Fourth house is about comfort and, and you know, being able to be who we are. It's a great energy for you, my Aquarius. And let's see what we have in a position of the outcome this week. We have the judgment, interesting, next to the chariot. You know, there's something in energy that comes, I hope most of my Aquariuses believes in karma, and I think you do. Some people don't. Just because the second house for you is, is Pisces, which is a house of karma, but I believe that most of my Aquarius, because Aquarius is also humanitarian, they understand the law of attraction. So I think right here, a lot of things are coming back to you with the judgment. You have been tested since the beginning of the year with amazing high. Some of you have had amazing high. Some of you have gotten pregnant, new houses, new car, new job, a lot of things. And that's about like how you manage, what, like how, how, who you become when there's a struggle or, you know, you're going to see this behavior, okay, as coming in, like are you pushing people away are you accepting help you know how do you deal with other people in relationship okay because a lot of change there and it's all about growth but i'm going to end this reading here for you my uh beautiful aquariuses let me know how this resonated with you leave me comments until next week send you lots of kisses i love you